Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. It's Sunday and I'm just working on various different things. I just filmed the intro for the updated home tour, so I'll link that in the description box if you did miss it. But I'm um, hoping to get up to a few things. I really want to finish off the lingering things in the guest room um, this week, so I'm feeling hopeful that some of those things will happen. Um, I also got the new artwork for the bathroom, so I really need to get that up. I've had that sitting on the floor for over a week. So hopefully we'll get that done and I can show you all of that this week. The tree across the street is blooming and it is stunning. It's hard to pick up on camera, but it's a very old magnolia tree. And the light was just streaming through our whole upper floor down the stairs today and it was gorgeous. I never got to actually show you the blinds properly going up and down uh, just because the trees weren't out and you could very visibly see my street. But because the trees are out now, I thought I would just quickly show you because I think I'm going to be able to film for Instagram this week um, to put that up. So these were um, for a partnership I was doing with Select Blinds. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that quickly. I think here's the best spot to show you without showing you too much of my street. Um, so I'm going to not use Alexa just because I don't want to set off everyone else's. So I'm going to use the remote control. See, Lily still jumps. But isn't that so cool? Like, it's not very visible unless you're really, really looking for it, um, which I absolutely love because there was already a piece of trim exactly where I mounted it. So I... We are in love with it. We have it on a timer, um, and it filter. It still filters some light through, but it uh, makes it less bright even in the afternoon if you're trying to watch TV. But um, at night, you can't see much through it either. So we um, are loving it. Uh, I had to turn off my TV because it was flickering. It wasn't flickering in person, but on the camera, it was doing all sorts of things. I'm just on my lunch break, but I really wanted to quickly show you the light that I just got from Target. So I did this on the cross-border shipping, and I had it shipped right to my door, which honestly was a, was pricier than, like much pricier than picking it up at the warehouse, but at least I've tried it. Um, so this is the light that I got from Target. So it comes with a plug-in, but you can also hardwire it. It's actually a little tinier than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it looks super cute. So the idea is to mount it right here um, in the guest bedroom area. And then also I had ordered some of these from, I think it's Hobby Lobby. So those are very, very cute. This is a bundle of three. And I think I got them on sale. So they're only $2.50 a stem. Um, and I ordered three more, which my friend has. So just thought I would show you that. I'll show you more when I hang it up, but I think it's going to mount here. I need to get razor things for the bed because I think the bed needs to be a little bit taller and then I'll hang a little bit of art as well. And then I also have this curtain that I need to hem and do other things with and hang up to put across there so that I don't have to stare at the glass door that I don't like. One of the projects I'm working on today is finishing little tasks. This has been hanging over me for way too long. And the reason why this is not organized because it needed an extra shelf. And you can see that there's a support here. I just guess the previous owners or someone else got rid of the shelf. So I'm building a new one. And you can see how the other shelves were constructed just with boards. Like look at how old this one is. Um, so I had some eight by ones in the basement three actually i think i had four but perfect to do this project it was just remnants from other projects i had worked on so um i cut them all to the width and then i just used a jigsaw to cut out the little notches for the corners so you use a jigsaw for that and then i used a miter saw to actually cut them the right length and then once i put the last one in if i paint it it's all gonna look like it was here before so then i can get organized I painted the shelf. I'm just waiting for it to dry. And I said this on Instagram. I'm honestly way too lazy to do more than one coat. It matches. I'm good with it. I'm going to move on. Um, maybe I'll do another coat, but I highly doubt it. And then I started working on this project. So I got one piece of art hung. 
And then if you remember, I bought a little hook from Anthropology, so I've got that. And then some art that I'm gonna hang on this wall. So I took off the old hooks. Um, the art's gonna go here, the hook's gonna go there, and I think it's gonna look cute. And I was also just pondering the fact that I wanna switch the planter on this. To be honest, I would like to not have that in here, but Chris is attached to it now. So um, I wanna put it in a new pot that matches here. And I think I might splurge for the light that I really want for in here. I think I might, I think I deserve it. That's what I've decided. <laughs> um, and I still kind of want something there, but I'm worried it might be a little bit too busy. So I'm gonna play that by ear once everything else is up. Here's a very not exciting back of our city house. And we don't have a lot of money to do stuff um, back here. And we really don't like the paving stones. But the best we can do right now is get rid of this gravel, which we hate. So we're going to dig it up this weekend. We're going to put some dirt and some seed. I think we're going to do creeping thyme. We considered grass, but I would have to probably cut that. And it would be really annoying to maintain. I also would love to paint the back of the house white because it is yellow. And then there is this which is really annoying and not useful. So we're gonna take it out and then there's another one on the other side of the car. This is just such a mess. I don't know what I've done. He looks very happy with himself though. He wants to be an outdoor cat. I got all the dirt out between the pavers. Took me from about 10 to 4, 4.30. My back is killing me now. Um, Chris dug out that corner and we still have to do that. That is the dirt. We've been working on the back patio this morning and if you can see, we shifted some of the bricks. So the patio used to end right here and so we shifted three rows to extend it so it is much bigger now and then now the plan is to make tire ribbons so these remaining ones this one's going to shift over this one's going to shift that way and there's going to be a gap so there's going to be a gap here a gap in the middle and then we're going to create another gap here push that stone over um, and those gaps will be filled with time and if that doesn't work out and we don't like it we uh can switch it for next year but we're definitely happy with how the patio looks and it honestly didn't take much effort to do that um it took maybe an hour it was way easier than we thought we basically just dug out the gap and then used crowbars to on either end chris and i were on either end and pushed it so we are very happy with that now um not 100% sure on the tire ribbons, but I think, you know, it works to eliminate these stripes that we hate because that's what we ultimately decided is we didn't really hate the pavers. We just hated the gaps. And now the gaps are going to look a little bit wider and be filled with time. So we're hoping that'll be a bit better. We are finished for the weekend. But you can see we planted the creeping thyme in the strips and the patio is way bigger than it was before, which is so nice. So we're making a lot of progress. There's all of these amazing big, big frames, which is so good. $26.99 for this huge frame.
Kristen is overseeing my video tonight, but I had the chance to check out the new Ikea at the Aura building, which was pretty cool. It is a smaller scale Ikea focused on small spaces. You can try out sofas, but you can't actually purchase them there. And then the only things you can purchase are little items. So I finally picked up one of these. I shared this over a year ago, and I know some inspired some other uh, Instagram friends to go and purchase it, but I hadn't purchased one. So I got one. I don't know if I need more, but thought we could go from there. That was $12.99. This vase was, I think, only $2.99. I think it's really cute with the reeded glass. Um, and then I got another set of these. I don't know if you remember, but I already have these. They're nesting, so there's two little ones inside, and I just think they're super useful for storing important things in bookcases and making it look nice. Um, and then for Marshalls, I got this jug. It was $19.99. Um, Instagram is split on whether or not they like it or not, so we'll see. But Marshalls is a buy it or lose it sort of a situation, so that's why I got it. And then I got this beautiful marble tray for $16.99, which I feel like is so cheap. I would not have expected to only pay that. Um, I even feel like I was searching for something like this a year ago. Anyways, and then I got two clothing items. So the first is this linen dress. It's a kind of a sagey material or <laughs> sagey color. Um, let's see if I can lay it out for you so you can see it's got like these different tiers. I just thought it would be really nice, lightweight to work from home in. In the summer, I find longer dresses just aren't comfortable to work in and this is nice and loose and flowy. And then I've also been searching for tops to wear with leggings that look cute, you feel cute in them, and you wouldn't be embarrassed to go out of the house in them. So I got this. It's shorter at the front, longer at the back. I haven't tried it on, but uh, hopefully it will work out. And I'm still on the search for some other shirts that are similar cuteness and... Uh, I will let you know if I come across any. I just came upstairs and realized that I didn't wrap up the vlog. Uh, things got hectic earlier because Chris was having some friends over and I was trying to make sure everything was perfect and forgot to record. So I thought I better do that before I go to bed. Um, I did mean to talk about where I've been and all of that, but um, we can save that for next vlog. It's not anything exciting. I've just been very, very busy. Um, but hope you enjoyed getting caught up. There's another vlog worth of stuff to catch up on coming your way very soon, but I hope you guys are doing well and I've missed you.